Brian, there is a Venice in Las Vegas. It's dry, it's parched, and there's a Rialto Bridge, and you can look off the Rialto Bridge at what Sheldon Adelson created. What is the distinction of an Adelson con casino in business versus the other entrepreneurs and magnets of Las Vegas? Thanks. Well, I think you're right. Not only is Sheldon Adelson credited with those types of thematic developments in Vegas, but also really identifying the Kotai area of Macau as an opportunity for mass gaming development. So certainly his unfortunate passing leaves us with uh, a lot of contributions <laughs> that are notable. They were international in nature. He seemed to be fearless about that. What is the path forward? I mean, if I can gamble on sports in America, how does that change what he wrought and what he leaves? Well, certainly uh, with most of the operations coming in Asia, the company has already suggested at least the possibility of being receptive to monetizing some assets perhaps in Las Vegas. But I think going forward, you know, the likely, uh, likelihood in our view is that Robert Goldstein, uh, the acting CEO and chairman and uh, recently COO and president, would be a likely successor. He's certainly capable, well-respected, and much of the company's initiatives would likely be continued uh, under his stewardship if that were to be the case. What is the political bent, if you're looking to the Pacific, of the gaming business? I mean, what does Las Vegas Sands have to do to do better in China after the Trump years that Mr. Adelson so, so supported? Well, I think the key thing for Macau as a, develop, as a market going forward will be uh, recovery from uh, COVID-19. That's true, of course, sure. both in Las Vegas and in Nevada. I would just say as a side note, in Nevada and the U.S., one key possible development that had not occurred under Mr. Adelson's uh, previous watch was a possible move into online sports betting, something that uh, he had uh, previously not been in favor of. Is there a Biden view on that? Uh, I don't know if there's a uh, if there was a Biden view on that, but because of the popularity of online betting and sports betting in particular, and the extent to which other gaming companies have pursued it, the Las Vegas Sands was a notable, mm -hmm. notably absent from those ranks, and so it is possible that that direction might change under new leadership. Whether it's Warren Beatty dashing across the screen of Hollywood cinema, their take on Las Vegas or the giants like Mr. Adelson, there's the future of gaming worldwide. To me, it's become very corporatist. Is that correct, Brian? Um, I think that's fair to say. Certainly, uh, both in Macau and Las Vegas, there are several large corporations that uh, are involved in operating uh, the majority of capacity, and that, that's been true for a while, and I think will remain true. Well, it remain true, but what? come on, they're coming out of a major national disaster with casinos shut down, et cetera. When they pick this up, what does your industry look like? You know, I think it's going to take a while uh, for the mainstay of Las Vegas, which is conventions, to really begin to return. That's going to take a while. What we're seeing across this industry, if you break it down into the, the regional part of the gaming, is people are coming back slowly. Uh, with all the social distancing in place. But really what's going to be a struggle right. for this industry is to bring people back together for conventions and group functions. Okay, conventions and group functions. Is that true in Asia as well? I mean, that's fascinating uh, to me. I've been out there and done speeches in Las Vegas, et cetera. But is the same angle happening in Asia? It's true in, in Asia, and the added... Uh, problematic factor for Asia has been uh, visa restrictions and travel restrictions related to COVID-19 that have really kept people from coming into Macau. Mm -hmm. That's beginning to ease, but certainly the gaming revenue numbers uh, in Macau have been very, very weak. Uh, and, and certainly travel and right. visa restrictions, COVID-19 protocols are a big part of that. Brian, you're knee-deep in this. Give us one anecdote on Sheldon Adelson. Uh, I think he'll be remembered as a visionary uh, particularly the one who saw the possibility of developing the Kotai um, part of Macau into a mass gaming resort. Uh, and I think the hope going forward will be that there will be other successful people who are capable of uh, running the ship in <clears throat> his absence. 